from Huffington Post.com. Ariana, I want you to get into this conversation with Congressman Paul. This is your chance to ask him a question. You've heard his point, and he makes some uh, really passionate arguments. Yes, Congressman Paul, you mentioned the bill that you have co-sponsored with Congressman Alan Grayson, a liberal Democrat. Uh, also on Afghanistan, you are basically in agreement with another liberal Democrat, Senator Russ Feingold. So do you think that it's becoming obsolete to keep looking at American politics through this filter of right versus left, when on so many critical issues there are many strange bedfellows these days? Oh, I think you're absolutely right. I try to avoid it all the time. I sometimes resent it when they call me a right winger or somebody else goes and calls somebody else a left winger. I look at intervention or non-intervention uh, as a general principle, whether it's overseas in our personal lives or in the economy. But the thing that should bring us together is our Constitution. Uh, and, and the Constitution does. If, if you believe in the Constitution and follow it, lo and behold, you believe in civil liberties. You don't want to run people's lives. You don't have the authority to police the world and run the world. And you don't have the authority to run the economy. So th this, to me, is the rallying point. And if we have disagreements, then we change the Constitution. But no, uh, there, I work in the Congress, just like I demonstrated you know, with my bill to audit the Fed progressives and liberals and socialists and libertarians and conservatives all say yes we should have oversight we should find out what they're doing and we can bring together freedom brings people together as long as we're not judgmental and tell people how to run their lives or what their religious values ought to be and we certainly don't need to be doing this around the world and right now I really am disturbed by the support that the Republicans give to Obama's war in Afghanistan he wants to expand it and people like Lindsey Graham are urging them on to do more and more. And we have no right. right to be there. We need to bring our troops home. We don't need that kind Congressman, of Congressman, uh, Kevin Madden's a Republican strategist. He's here, and he'd like to weigh in as well. Go ahead, Kevin. Well, Congressman, uh, as a party, we always flourish when we talk about what we're for. And we talk about uh, a more modernized agenda that we have for the American public. Don't you think that we need to do more to talk about uh, what unifies us as a party and not talk about our limitations and what we disagree on in the party? Well, do you think you should uh, maybe pass that message on over to Lindsey and say something about it? Because he hasn't exactly welcomed us in. In some, some places they do, they invite us in. And I think you're absolutely right. And, uh, and that's why I'm such a strong defender of individual liberty and the Constitution, because it isn't a negative thing. It's very, very positive, and you find your answers, whether it's monetary policy or foreign policy or domestic policy. And I just think that that is an absolute good piece of advice that we should should do. We should try to bring people together, discuss the issue, and show what we're for. And uh, I am strongly for the principles I think the Republican Party have claimed they're for, for freedom and individualism and free markets and sound money, no, no special interest, and Eisenhower said no military industrial complex. So I think these are things that I'm for, strongly for. But the real principle that we have to be for is individual liberty. Congressman, I know you got to go. you got other activities up on Capitol Hill. We're going to let you go. But everyone else is staying because we have a lot more to discuss, especially, Congressman, you'll be interested in this, uh, the, the latest post on HuffingtonPost.com by Ariana. What she wrote about the vice president today uh, is fascinating material. It's going to be a source of good discussion here. Uh, but what, what has she written about? She's written about the vice president, and she's suggesting perhaps this might be a good moment for him to think about resigning. Why? Why would the vice president, Joe Biden, want to resign? The best political team on television and Arianna Huffington, they're here to dissect this high drama idea. And Republican Party Chairman Michael Steele is no stranger to criticism. This time he's apparently doing something about it, an update on what some are calling a red-hot mess online for um, the partnership that I have. Let's get Chinese. Should we order Panda Blah?